Mrs. Elliott. I'm Detective Barnes. I'm investigating your husband's murder. And I got some deputies out searching the area, but until we can get this figured out. I ordered a police detail for your house. How are you feeling, Anthony? Not everyone cares that dad's dead. <laughs> Real mature. Shut up! Gentlemen, is everything OK here? Anthony, you know Megan? Hi. Dylan, why are you being so nice to me? I figured you might need a friend. Why is that? I heard some kids talking about your dad. Yeah, he, uh... I heard he got killed. And my dad died, too. Suicide. I was wondering if we could have some people over tonight. Of course. Mom, this is Dylan. Oh, my God. Uh, Dylan. Sorry. Um, I wasn't expecting anyone. Don't worry about it. I mean, you have nothing to be sorry about. What was Mark like? Mark meant well, but it didn't matter what I had to say. You know, you don't always feel the way you're supposed to. Someone dies. Do you know what I do when I feel sad? sad? Something I'm not supposed to. I got death threats. Whoever hacked into your husband's email before his death must have had access to your account. Did you ever confess your affair to your husband? My mom had an affair with some real estate mogul a few years ago. Your real estate boyfriend. You thought I wouldn't notice. What? You're not upset dad's dead? That's not true. I don't know what kind of game you're trying to play, but what are you doing? Dylan's lying about who he is. Hey, Anthony. Anthony? That's Anthony's. Yeah. Dylan. I have him. Why? This is the knife that my dad used to slit his wrist. If you hadn't seduced my dad, Anthony's dad would be alive and well. I killed him, and now his blood is on your hands. Mom! Anthony! She's responsible for my father's death. The only person responsible is your dad. No, Mom! 